Morning, Bill. Have a Morning. good time. Crew's here to do the insulation sidewall work for us. Let's go ahead and get started. Secure the hose ends and joints with duct tape or hose clamps. Make sure that the connections won't blow apart while you're working, or you will have a big mess to clean up. Check the ends often in hot weather. The crew is marking the hose in one foot intervals. It's a way to ensure the insulation hose is reaching the top of the cavity. Well, we're about ready to start on the sidewall insulation and uh, the way we do it is uh, we use a fill tube to fill up the cavity with insulation. We're going to be um, sticking it up the wall. See, we marked it here to show us that we're in far enough. And what we'll do is we'll stick it up there. And it, this mobile home has a belt rail on it. So we'll be sticking the, the tube up behind the belt rail and all the way to the top. We'll start packing it from the top down. And when we get to the bottom, then we'll just stop and move on to the next cavity. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. While I'm pushing this tube up the wall, there are two bell rails on the on the on the mobile home. What we need to do is make sure that we get the the tube underneath behind the belt rail, past the belt rail. We want to get all the way to the top of the cavity. And also we want to be aware of any electrical outlets that might be on the wall as, as, as well as electrical wires that might be running horizontally. Okay, I made sure that the, the field tube is behind between the bat and the interior wall behind the belt rail also. It's all the way in position, we're ready to start blowing.